So what causes OCD? What are, what are the things that, that cause this disorder to occur? Let me give you a, show you a little bit of a picture of what the brain looks like. This is the front part of the brain, what we call the frontal cortex. This is something we call a brain stem, roughly speaking, the, what we call a cerebellum. The brain has some deep structures, too. And buried within the brain is something called the basal ganglia and another structure called the thalamus. There is a circuit, a pathway in the brain that goes from the front part of the brain to the basal ganglia, and then from the basal ganglia to the thalamus, and from the thalamus back to the front part of the brain, the frontal cortex. It's a loop. For most people, we have something that we worry about. For example, we, maybe we think uh, we stuck our hand in dog poop. That generates a thought up here. If we really stuck our hand in dog poop, it goes to the basal ganglia, and there's a filtering mechanism there. It filters out excess noise and, and excess thoughts. Well, if you really stuck your hand in dog poop, the thought's real strong, goes right through that filter, gets into the thalamus, and then goes back, keeps looping around until you finally wash your hands. Now let's say you touch something like a table that wasn't, uh, maybe it was a little sticky from somebody's spilled Coke or whatever. That generates a thought too. For most of us, that thought is not too strong. It gets to the basal ganglia, and that filter filters it out. We don't wash our hands, we don't worry about it, because it stops right there. It's blanked out right in the basal ganglia. What happens, though, with someone with OCD is for some reason, something has punched holes in that filter. It's opened it up. It's made it leaky. And so now those thoughts go right through, continue on. What can we do to try and tighten up that filter or to try and stop those thoughts before they can get to the, the leaky filter? Well, there's a number of different ideas that, that people have used and that have come into play. But before we get to that, we need to think about what can cause this filter to be leaky. One thing that can cause the filter to be leaky, we think, is that in some people, there may have been some sort of brain trauma or brain injury, and that has caused the filter to break down. One way this is thought to possibly occur in children and adolescents is that they may get for example, certain types of infections. Those infections may trigger the body's response to get rid of the infection, what we call an immune response. There can be confusion, though, in that response so that it not only gets rid of the infection, but it also starts attacking this area here, the basal ganglia, and that response is what punches holes in the filter. So there's a couple of different options that way. It may be that genetics plays a role in this, too. We know that OCD tends to run in certain families. So it may be that there's either some sort of direct effect of genetics on the brain that can make that filter leaky, or it may be that there's a genetic predisposition that can make it more likely that you would get OCD. And it takes some other things to affect that, too. But the bottom line is that when you get that leaky filter, you get that leaky area in the basal ganglia, you have those thoughts going around, and somebody ends up having OCD where they can't stop washing, or they can't stop counting, or they can't stop uh, praying, or whatever it is that they're doing. They need some sort of treatment that's going to stop that loop and break that cycle.